Right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were bold To just fly away I don't wanna care It's being I'm good alone I'll be okay, miss you like an old friend Hi, hello and good morning everyone and welcome to my bookshelf tour I've been seeing these all over booktube, I'm probably very late to the trend but I figured that while I'm at home I might as well show you guys my bookshelf. As I am an English student I do have a lot of classic books so this will probably be quite classics heavy. I should also point out that this is not all of the books I own, I have two other boxes and I've also got a load that I left in storage at university. Just a little bit of a disclaimer that this is not all the books I own. I'm also not going to be going through every single title, but I will pick out some of my favourites or some things I have to say about them. Too scared now, thinking I should call up a man. I think it's hard how we always wait another day. How we watch things the kids walk away Let's live down by the water Watch it come and go home I wish we were both To like sail away I just don't wanna care Can you be here? shuffle of my bookshelf and I promise there is a method to the madness. My sister by comparison is very strict about the way her bookshelves have to be organised. A lot more strict than me so by comparison um, yeah mine doesn't seem so organised at the outset but I promise there is some level of organisation. My shelf itself is from Ikea. It came with one less shelf than it currently has in it so the shelves are actually really weirdly sized in that some of them are bigger than other ones so that really um, limits the options I have in where to put books. So at the very top we have my pop figure collection. I like to have little decorative things all over my bookshelves and then I have these pretty rose fairy lights um, and I have these two jelly cat teddies up here as well. This macaroon and this avocado. Family friend got me this one for my birthday and my boyfriend got me this little avocado. They just sit up there, they come to uni with me and will sit on my bookshelf there too. Up here we also have two jars of stones. I don't know if you can see them but I'm not going to get them down. This little worm is my bookworm which my boyfriend also got for me. Um, he's called William Wallace Warner the Third. There has not been a one and two. You can't tell. I really like Jelly Cat and I like like cuddly cute things. This little unicorn that my mum got for me um, during my GCSEs when I was revising for them. I also have this plaque that she got me. I have some Harry Potter ones and this cute little Luna Lego figure. My friend Emily and I will send to each other in the post. But now it's time for actual books. But these are all my little books. I remember I read this because a teacher in secondary school just literally like handed it to me and was like, you'll love this reader. My collections of these. And then next to them we have my Wordsworth and my Everyman classics, which are really good if you're looking for cheap editions of classics. And then we have a couple of other classics over here and Station Eleven and Melmoth are not classics but I'd really recommend Station Eleven, it's about a pandemic actually. And on the top shelf we also have this book which my mum sent me in the post uh, the other day from a company called Bookishly and they do these really pretty presents where they'll send you a original book cover so these are designed by Bookishly and they'll send them with a hot drink so I had mine with tea but we also sent my sister one with a hot chocolate. 
And then on this shelf we have all of my Penguin Classics and my Oxford World Classics. I should probably put the years in some sort of order. At the moment they're just on here because I keep having to pick them up to reference them for essays. But I do plan on putting them either in time order or alphabetical order. They're mostly books from my degree and two that I have found the most interesting so far would be the works of Afro Ben and also um, Christian de Pizan's The Book of the City of Ladies, which I actually did my A-level English literature coursework on. And then on this shelf we have my collection of vintages and of modern classics. And then I have all of my hardback books on this shelf as well. So these are my Penguin Classics cloth bound books. And I've got most of these hardbacks for birthday presents. For my 18th birthday, I actually asked for loads of hardback books. And so people have written really beautiful messages in the front. This one, for example, my friend Emily got me as it was the book we studied for A-level and we were in the same class together and that's how we met. So I thought I'd show you my three favourite hardbacks. So the first one is this Tales of Norse Mythology. It's got gold edges and it's got this beautiful inside cover as well. Oh, this is Sif and Thor. Yeah, it's really beautiful and really informative. And then on the same vein, we also have the Arthurian Legends, which is equally beautiful and also has really pretty diagrams on the inside and paintings. I'm a really big fan of Celtic and Norse mythology. I was actually going to do um, an Aznak degree, but I decided that my heart really was with English. Then this is my Seasons book, the Thomas Nelton Seasons edition, and this is from the Winter Collection. And this is book 922 of 10,000. My mum's work colleague actually got this for me when I um, got into Cambridge, so it's a really nice gift. It's actually my fourth version of Pride and Prejudice, but it's my favourite. It's really intricate and beautiful. And then on this shelf we have my little feminist subsection with the plaque that I showed you earlier. So we have things like the bell jar, or the colour purple, or girl, woman, other. Honestly, I would recommend absolutely every single one of these books. Then I have my collection of William Shakespeare's and my collection of Khaled Husseini. I always say his name really badly and I'm really sorry, um, but I absolutely adore his books. A Thousand Surrounded Sons is probably my favourite book ever. I know your bold claims. And then I also almost forgot, but I would really, really recommend reading this book if you are interested in studying English literature. It's got some really interesting starting points to work off from. We have my Ray Bradbury's and my Neil Gaiman collection. So this section here is uh, books which I have multiple ones of different authors. And then I have my little poetry section, so Inferno, Beowulf, The Death of King Arthur, T.S. Eliot, The White Book, which is a really interesting mix of short stories, poetry and photography. And I also have uh, The Bookworm, which is another really interesting book if you're thinking about studying English literature. I also have this cute little tea light. And then this is my fantasy shelf. So we've got The Lord of the Rings, well, two of them, and then my Harry Potter collection. And then Lanny Taylor. I think I read them between secondary school and sixth form, so in the summer between, and I absolutely like tore through them, and my mum loves them as well. And then we have a couple of other books over here. Lady Bacolt's Small Great Things is absolutely heart wrenching. I'd really recommend it. It's about race issues in America. And then this is my bigger shelf, so I have some more hardbacks here. This is the Little People Big Dreams book that my family got me when I joined Cambridge um, because David Attenborough is the alumni of my college there. Next to that I keep his book that I got for Christmas. I think this means I actually have five versions of Jane Austen, but here is a beautiful book of Jane Austen that my friends got me for Christmas. I have some other hardback books. These are my linguistic books because I did um, an English language A-level and then these are my mythology books. So I would really recommend this one, this Mammoth Book of Celtic Myths and Legends, mostly just to dip into and The Warrior Queen's also really good. And then this is my collection of World War One books or 
um, my English Literature A level because I did the World War One paper. And then here's some more non-fiction and some books that I bought secondhand for my degree, which I really hate the covers of, so that's why they're sort of hidden down here. Two older books that I was also bought from friends, so this one is Chaucer, um, some essays on Chaucer, and this one is some essays on romanticism. And here's where we get to the realism. So this is my really messy bottom shelf. Um, we have some audio CDs from when I was little, um, all of my CDs and my DVDs back there. Uh, we also have my complete works of Shakespeare, which is a must for any English student. We have my vegan cookbooks and some other arty books and some scripts and then all of my art stuff and some old uh, textbooks. So I thought I would very quickly just go through some book recommendations from my bookshelf, literally just looking at it and picking some off. So this is not me saying that these are my favourite books by any means, but ones that I would recommend. Very little introductions um, by Oxford University Press. I've read maybe eight of them I think and owned three and they are so useful um, to get sort of a broad overview. This is the English literature one but I also have feminism and medieval literature. This is my favourite of the Bronte sisters, Tenant of Wildfell Hall by um, Anne Bronte. I know that a lot of people <laughs> prefer um, Wuthering Heights or Jane Eyre and this personally is my favourite one that I've read of all of them and I would really recommend it to people, I don't think that it's read enough. I feel like a lot of people come to Anne and they have read her sisters and sort of view her through the lens of their literature rather than viewing her on her own merits. It's got a bit of a slow start but once you get into it it's really good so I would say stick it out and you will be rewarded. <laughs> Norse mythology. I know that a lot of people um, are really interested in retellings of Greek mythology at the moment. I mean, myself, I am reading Circe right now. And Neil Gaiman does a really good and entertaining job of doing the same thing, but with Norse mythology. Doing an English degree, I've gotten kind of more into poetry. So I really just like to flick through this and open on a random poem and or annotate it as sort of unseen practice but also because I feel like it's just really enriching to read a bit of poetry. <laughs> I think the company that make this have done several different ones so if love's not your thing and that is it. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this bookshelf tour. I'm sorry that it's not all of the books I own and that I didn't go through every single one but I figured you guys wouldn't want to be here for that long. I'm sorry I haven't been posting so much to the channel since I got home from uni I've just been really struggling with my degree this term and really finding it quite hard to come up with content that I'm proud of. Yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you are enjoying this sunny spring day.